MashaAllah bro, our new house is beautiful. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Bro, look at this. I think this house is haunted. Oh my god! We have to get out of here right now! <laughs> We're Muslims. We don't get out. We recite Ayat al Kursi. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يؤوده حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم There was a boy who loved praying in the masjid. One day he woke up for fajr, made wudu, and prepared to go to the masjid. It was dark on the way so he couldn't see his steps and slipped. His clothes got dirty so he went back again, changed his clothes, made wudu again, and walked towards the masjid again. He slipped again and fell on the same spot. He went back again, changed his clothes, made wudu again, and walked towards the masjid again. To his surprise, there was a man holding a lamp on the same spot where he fell twice. The man said, come with me, I'll help you reach masjid. He agreed and followed. Thank you so much for helping me reach Masjid. You're welcome. Wait! Aren't you gonna pray? No. Why not? Because I'm Shaitan. And I'm the one who made you slip and fall because I didn't want you to pray in Masjid. But when you renewed your wudu and returned to pray in Masjid, Allah forgave your sins and increased you in reward. It made me angry, so I made you slip again. But then you renewed your wudu again and returned to pray in Masjid, and Allah forgave your sins again and increased you in rewards even more. After that, I got scared that you will keep returning and Allah will keep forgiving your sins and increase you in rewards, so I helped you reach the masjid instead. <laughs>
Hold up. We all know what's gonna happen next. Now let's see what would happen if there was a Muslim in this scene. Assalamu alaikum Baba Wa alaikum assalam Can you please buy me a PS5? <laughs> Give me one good reason why I should buy you PS5 If you buy me a PS5 I will spend the whole night in prayer Really? Yes of course Here you go, buy it right now Thank you so much MashaAllah Daud! Yes dad? You said you will spend the whole night in prayer if you get PS5 Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said in Hadith Abu Dawood and Tirmidhi Whoever prays Isha and Fajr in congregation, it is as if he spent the whole night in prayer. I'm a hijabi girl in a harami world. Life Islamic, it's fantastic. Excuse me, miss. Could you please try this on? But why? I want to see if this fits you or not. Okay. <laughs> it fits! Yes! Finally! I found the love of my life! Oh. <clears throat> Will you marry me? No! But why not? Because I want to marry a religious boy who prays five times a day. Do you pray five times a day? Um, of, of course, of course I do. Oh really? Then tell me, how many rakats does Asr prayer have? Um, um, ten? <laughs> No, Asr has four rakats. Uh, okay, I may not be religious, but I'm a prince. I have a lot of money. If you marry me, I will always keep you happy. <laughs> Mashallah, you have the dunya, but I want the akhirah. Because dunya is temporary and akhirah is eternal. Jannati. Jannati, oh. Jannati, Hello. Jannati. Uncle Abdullah, I want to marry your daughter. No, Uncle, I want to marry your daughter. Hmm. Since I only have one daughter, I think you guys will have to do a halal rap battle. Okay, of course. Okay. You go first, brother. Okay, okay. <coughs> here we go, here we go. You look like a true Muslim indeed, but your dress code don't meet. Cap for Allah, shorts for the daughter of Uncle Abdullah. <laughs> uh, no, uh, that's not true, Uncle. <clears throat> <clears throat> Yo, check, check. Your looks are mashallah. Your intentions are inshallah. Your prayers, taqabbal Allah. But your search history is astaghfirullah. <laughs> Do 
السلام عليكم جايز وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته Red is the imposter kick him out right now No 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 Thank you black <laughs> He wasn't the imposter I am But lying is haram brother But I'm not a Muslim <laughs> I knew that. What? I knew that you were not a Muslim. And red is not ejected. We just faked it. But how did you know? Because you did not reply back to my salam. <laughs> Give me all your money. Oh. But I don't have any money. Liar, show me your wallet. Look. Oh, wait, is that credit card? Give me your credit card. Hello? Yeah, note this credit card details. One two six five one six one. Yeah, tell me how much money is in it. It's empty. You really don't have any money. No, brother, I don't. Where did all your money go? Charity. It's one of the five pillars of faith in Islam. So I came here for nothing? Well, at least I can steal some food then. Uh. Bro, your fridge is empty as well. Um, yeah, my neighbors were hungry, so I gave it to them. You, you, you just give away everything? How do you even survive? <laughs> Listen to me, bro. Your provision will reach you no matter how hard the situations are. Because Allah is the provider. Meanwhile, you can earn good deeds by giving or bad deeds by stealing. I'm sorry, bro. Don't worry, bro. It's all good. So you're hungry, right? Yes. They're serving biryani in the local masjid today. Oh my god, I love biryani. Let's go. Let's go. Dad, look what I bought. MashaAllah looks amazing. Must be very expensive. You know me, Dad. Yeezy, Louis, Cartier. I'm a luxury, Dad. Dawood, what did you buy? Uh, I didn't buy anything, Dad. But I gave enough money to both of you, right? Yes, but I didn't buy any clothes. But why? Because Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said, whoever refrains from wearing good garments out of humility towards Allah, though he is capable of wearing that, then Allah will summon him on the day of judgment at the head of all creation and give him the choice to wear any of the dresses of Iman. SubhanAllah, 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 SubhanAllah. Baba, I finally bought the iPhone 12 for $1,300 only.
But why? <laughs> Let me tell you why. It has an amazing dual camera with 12 megapixels and it has a 14 bionic chip which does 11 trillion operations per second. Mind blown. But you already have all of that. What do you mean? Your eyes. If human eye was a digital camera, it would have 576 megapixels. A 14 bionic chip is nothing compared to a human brain. A human brain can do up to 10,000 trillion operations per second. And the best part? You never had to pay for any of these. What are you doing, son? I'm watching anime, dad. But it's not even English and I don't see any subtitles. How do you understand it? I'm learning Japanese so I can watch animes without subtitles. You can learn Japanese to understand animes, but you can't learn Arabic to understand the Quran? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said, The best among you are those who learn the Quran and teach it. Subhanallah. Thank you, Baba. I'll start learning Arabic from today onwards. You Muslims always giving da'wah. Why can't you guys just leave everyone alone? We only want to inform people about the truth of Islam and that Quran is from Allah, meaning God. <laughs> Give me one proof that Quran is from God. <laughs> okay, tell me then. When was oxygen discovered? Um, 1772? Correct. And when was it discovered that plants give out oxygen? 1779? Correct. And lastly, when was it discovered that fire requires oxygen in order to burn? 1679. Correct. Now tell me, what would you say if I told you that all of this has been mentioned in the Quran 1400 years ago? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? That's impossible. Allah says in the Quran chapter 36 verse 80, it is he who made from the green tree fire and then from it you ignite. Guys, we're only three people left. If we don't eject the imposter now, we will lose. So Black, are you the imposter? No. Okay. Red, are you the imposter? No, I'm not the imposter. <sighs> Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in Hadith Abi Dawood 4800 that I guarantee a house in the middle of the paradise for the man who avoids lying, even if he were joking. I'm the imposter. Thank you, Red. Bye. Yo, you are so single, and you ain't never mingle. 
But check out my flow. I spit fire, bro. Start taking notes. I'm wearing Gucci coat. And I got all the girls. Cause I'm the real goat. Yeah, I'm the real goat. Meh. <laughs> I'm about to end this man's whole career. Listen to my words. I'll make your knowledge grow. Gucci is haram. I wear my white thobe. We Muslims, we ain't no simp. We keep our gazes low. And when it's time for Eid, we sacrifice them goats. <laughs> And when it's time for Eid, we sacrifice them goats. Eid Mubarak, folks! <laughs> Jannati, Jannati. Uh, hey, bro, uh, did you happen to eat my last slice of pizza that I told everyone not to eat? No, bro. I mean, if you ate, it's fine, but at least let me know so I can get another one for myself. And no, I didn't, bro. Uh, okay. Uh, bro, did you make my room dirty? Uh, no, bro, I didn't. I got my eyes on you. Allah, what for Allah, what for Allah, what for Allah. You ate my pizza, I didn't say anything. You made my room dirty and I still didn't say anything. But now you broke my PS5? Hey bro, sorry I broke your PS5 and made your room dirty and ate the last slice of pizza. <laughs> Bye. Bro, I am so, 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 so sorry, man. It's okay bro, don't worry about it. I accused you of things that you didn't do and I even slapped you and you're not even angry with me? How? Because Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said, do not become angry and paradise will be yours. Okay class, today we're gonna talk about the first ever speech given against racism by Martin Luther King in 1967. Sir? Yes, that would say. Sir, the first ever speech against racism was not given on 1967. It was given on 632. But that's impossible, because nobody even knew about racism back then. Exactly. Nobody except for Allah and his Prophet, peace be upon him. What was the speech? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said, All mankind is from Adam and Eve. An Arab has no superiority over a non-Arab, nor a non-Arab has any superiority over an Arab. Also, a white has no superiority over black, nor a black has any superiority over white, except by piety and good actions. That was beautiful. I, I don't really need a mask, but uh, I'm wearing it just to make the kids happy, I guess. Anyway, my name is Muslim Man. You know, like Superman, Batman, and Iron Man? Yeah. In Hollywood movies, superheroes try to save people from crimes, right? I'm a bit different. I try to save people from sins. Stop, don't eat that! Why not? Because it contains pork. Thank you, Muslim man.
Brother, don't watch that. Why? Because there's a haram scene at 3rd minute 56th second. Thank you, Muslim man. Brother, wake up or you will miss Fajr. Brother, wake up or you will miss Fajr. Hey you, do you want iPhone 12? It has 5G internet so you can watch movies with super fast internet. But I don't have any money. But I never asked for money. Oh, sure then. Here, take it. Wow, thanks man. Now he will watch movies all day instead of remembering Allah. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm watching Mufti Mink. No! Don't watch that! Watch movies or something! Astaghfirullah. <laughs> Is this all of it? Yes. Um, excuse me. Can I ask you something? Yes, you always buy all the package of drugs from me, like all of it, but you seem to be a practicing Muslim. Isn't doing drugs sin in Islam? <sighs> I don't do drugs. I take them somewhere safe and burn them. But why? You see, this is a Muslim neighborhood. I don't want my young Muslim brothers and sisters to be taking drugs and ruining their lives. I I'm confused. Instead of buying from me and spending so much money, you, you could have just got me arrested, but you didn't. Why? Because Allah knows best, maybe you're the only earning person in your family. If I got you arrested, that would not only ruin your life, but it would also ruin the life of your family. Take care, my brother. Wait. How do I become a Muslim? Thank you.
de Sheikh. Hello, Sheikh. There's a shaitan who steals my food every time I try to eat it. What should I do? Remember to say Bismillah before you eat. Okay. Bismillah. Hello, Alia. I miss you so much. Listen, when quarantine ends, we will go out together, okay? I love you too. Bye. <gasps> Who was that, brother Dawood? Um, that was my girlfriend. But that is so wrong. You shouldn't have a girlfriend and you shouldn't be talking to girls. Whatever. Hello, who is this? Oh, Masood. How are you? I miss you too. When will you come to my house? After quarantine? Okay. <gasps> okay, bye. I love you too. <laughs> Who was that? That was my boyfriend. You have no shame? Shame? Don't you have a girlfriend too? Uh, it's different in my case. Well, my case is also similar. Ooh. Uh, listen to me. It's not right. Please break up with him. Don't you know how much it hurts me as your brother? <laughs> I will only break up with him if you break up with your girlfriend. Uh, okay, okay, done. One minute. Hello, Alia. Uh, we cannot be talking anymore because it's not right. We will talk after we get married, okay? Hello, Alia. She hung up. Now it's your turn. <laughs> I don't have a boyfriend. You think I'm like you? Who was that on the phone then? That was just an alarm. <laughs> good one, good one. <laughs> um, hi. Hello, sir. Welcome to Apple Store. How may I help you? Um, I want to buy an iPhone 12 made out of gold. Um, sorry sir, that's for special people only. Uh, please, it's very important for me. Sorry sir, I can't do that. You don't understand. It's very, very, very important for me. I'm sorry. Um, can I please speak to your manager? Okay, wait here. Assalamu alaikum. I'm the manager. Is there any problem? Wa alaikum assalam. You are Muslim? Yes, brother. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Brother, you have to help me. I really want to buy an iPhone 12. Made out of gold. But why? Because the girl that I want to marry, she said she would only marry me if I give her a golden iPhone for her mother.
my brother. I will get you that golden iPhone, even if I have to talk to Steve Jobs for it. Wait here. Here you go, brother. Thank you so much, brother. I know how important marriage is for our young Muslims. Thank you so much, brother. We can finally get married now. How much is it? Oh, you don't have to pay. Consider this a wedding gift from one brother to another. <laughs>